Gareth Humphreys from M MBDA Missile Systems. Okay, cool. And what have you been busy with today? Uh, this morning, looking at recruitment. Um, uh, this afternoon, I've come here and been helping and supporting your event. Okay, so it's part of the skills conference. Uh, yes, yeah, I've been talking about apprenticeships, how to recruit them, develop them, and what advantages and um, they bring to your business. Okay, so what is your experience around apprenticeships and apprenticeship recruitment and those things? Well, I was an apprentice, and then I trained apprentices, and I've managed our apprenticeship scheme for 23 years. Um, for me, they're the sort of the real core of your business. And if you cr recruit them right, you develop them, they'll just stop with you forever. And if you recruit local uh, young people, it's even better. Right. Mm -hmm. And so what are the issues in, and challenges maybe for other businesses that aren't investing in this stuff? I think the biggest challenge we face today in recruitment is getting the message out that A, young people can leave school at 16, getting the message out to parents that apprenticeships are viable, and actually getting a message out to teachers as well. In the course of a five, five years at school, teachers and parents with them all the time, we get five minutes to add how good it is. And actually, if you come into an apprenticeship, not only do you get that vocational training, in, ma in many cases you get your academics paid for you from honorary national certificate, high national certificate, high national diploma. But we give you personal development opportunities to go and speak to people if you go into a apprenticeship scheme, you grow, you mature much quicker. And actually, you don't come out in debt. You know, the average starting salary for a young person at 16 going into manufacturing is 11,000. Is 11, four years later at 20, they can be on 27,000. Now we've got to get that message out to parents, schools and young people that manufacturing and engineering is important. We work a, a process and policy that when we do work experience, it's only for year 10s. So we'll offer a school four places, two of them must be girls. If we run an event in schools, offer a school or two around, 50% of that trip must be female. Now we've done that for 15 years. If today, 50% of our apprentices, not been for a long time, are female. And if everybody in engineering and manufacture did what we did, a, we'd have good diversity and strong, um, strong young people. How do you find employing apprentices against employing maybe more developed skills? If you, by employing apprentices, you can actually train them to what your business needs. I think that's quite important. And actually, in, in engineering manufacturing, we've got a defogramic challenge today. And actually, by recruiting young people, getting the skills and knowledge from more mature people, and especially if they come from a low clearing, you can actually develop and nurture that talent for your business for the future. So you get a skill more specific to your needs rather than... I think the way we develop our apprentices is what we call broad-based training. So we give them a real good opportunity in developing that skills in a number of areas. Um, and then give them a number of placements within the business with learning objectives and further skills. And then finally in the last sort of nine months of the development and training put them in the area where you're actually going to complete that training by doing broad based training actually develops the individual they get to know the business they get to know the different skills different competencies and actually when they complete that training and in our case it's four years long they're very much fit for purpose on our bolton site in the last 10 years we've recruited 51 apprentices Today, I've still got 51 apprentices. And if apprentices stop with you for a, a length of time, you actually, it's, um, a re it saves you 70,000 in actual training and recruitment costs. So they actually bring a lot of value to your business. Of course. And how are you finding, you've been speaking to people today, yeah. how, are, how receptive are people to the idea of recruiting I, apprentices? I think people are far more, re more receptive to recruiting apprentices today still think there's a grey area for, for a lot of people um, and I think a lot of people don't understand manufacturing engineering who are in the training aspect of it and I think what we've got to do in manufacturing is get these training providers and college lecturers into our business teach them bring them up to up to speed so they're far better in the future for developing our young people. Okay. 
And what has your involvement been today? What have, what have you actually been doing today? My involvement today was support to our apprentices. Uh, they were the keynote speakers uh, in the afternoon session and I just uh, summarised at the end. I think that's far more powerful to let your young people speak, or your apprentices, than myself. I'm sure, and how did they find that experience? Oh, they loved it. I'm actually telling them to, you're running out of time. 40 minutes, fantastic. Yeah, so future speaker careers then? Oh, I've got, I, when I get a tour in work, I, I put uh, every apprentice, I put the photos up on, a, on screen and ask people to pick their apprentice and then bring them down to speak. Wow. That's confidence. Cool. And actually, so, but you've got to give them that belief in themselves as well. Yes. So do you have a view on the manufacturer's role in the industry and in the work that the manufacturer does? I think the, man, the manufacturer for me um, is really helping to promote apprentices by running these events, by encouraging people, getting people, like one of our apprentices now on your, on your uh, editorial advisory board. It's, you're building a stronger awareness in manufacturing about the importance of apprenticeships. Cool. Is there anything else you'd like to say? No, is that enough?